Chedi Jagan International Airport IATA, GEO, ICAO, SYCJ, formerly Timuri International Airport, is the national airport of Guyana. The airport is located on the right bank of the Demerara River in the city of Timuri, 41 kilometers 25 miles south of Guyana's capital, Georgetown. It is the larger of the two international airports serving Georgetown with the other airfield being the Ogle Airport. History The United States obtained rights to locate military facilities in British Guiana as part of the Destroyers for Bases Agreement with the United Kingdom in 1941. On 14 June 1941, the first United States Army forces arrived to survey land for a bomber airfield near Georgetown. Atkinson Field was built 28 miles 45 kilometers from Georgetown on 68 acres 28 hectares of land formerly known as Hyde Park, on the Demerara River. The forest was cleared and hills were leveled and a long concrete runway was constructed. On 20 June 1941 the airfield officially opened with the activation of a weather station. The station was named after Lt. Col. Bert M. Atkinson, a United States Army Air Service World War I aviator. Colonel Atkinson was the commander of the 1st Pursuit Wing on the Western Front in 1918. Colonel Atkinson retired from the Army in 1922 after a distinguished career and died on 27 April 1937. The mission of the station was the defense of the colony against German U-boats. The airfield was also a major staging point for American aircraft crossing the Atlantic Ocean heading to the European Theater on the South Atlantic transport route. Aircraft supplied to the British forces by the United States were flown to Atkinson where they were turned over and ferried to North Africa. With the discovery of bauxite deposits in northeast Brazil in 1943, the mission of the airfield was expanded to protect the coastline of northeast South America and prevent any submarine landings by Axis forces on the continent. United States Army Air Force's 430th Bombardment Squadron 9th Bombardment Group was assigned to Atkinson Field from 4 November 1941 to 31 October 1942 flying anti-submarine sorties in Douglas B-18 bombers. The 430th was replaced by a detachment of the 35th Bombardment Squadron 25th Bombardment Group from 1 November 1942 to 7 October 1943. After the detection of U-boat activity was taken over by the United States Navy, the 91st Reconnaissance Squadron 344th Reconnaissance Group was assigned to the airfield during 1944 and 1945 flying the F-10 photo recon version of the B-25 Mitchell bomber on various mapping missions. At the end of the war, Atkinson Field was reduced in scope to a skeleton staff. The facility was open for all air travel, including commercial air flights on 1 October 1946. The same year, British West Indian Airways BWIA, now Caribbean Airlines, was operating non-stop passenger service to Port of Spain, Trinidad. The military airfield was designated Atkinson Air Force Base on 26 March 1948 by Department of the Air Force General Order No. 10. The base was ordered closed on 31 July 1949 due to budgetary cutbacks. The final military cadre was three officers and 25 enlisted men upon closure, and the base was officially turned over to British authorities on 1 August 1949. A modern terminal building was built and opened on 15 March 1952. When the new building was ravaged by fire on 5 August 1959 the old terminal building was renovated and used again until the destroyed building was replaced. By 1961, British West Indian Airways BWIA was operating all flights from the airport with Vickers Viscount turboprop aircraft with non-stop service to Port of Spain, Trinidad with direct one-stop service to Barbados. BWIA then introduced jet service with Boeing 727-100 aircraft during the mid-1960s and by 1966 was operating all of its passenger service into the airport with the 727 on non-stop flights to Port of Spain and also to Paramaribo, Suriname in addition to all cargo flights non-stop to Port of Spain and direct to Miami operated with Douglas DC-4 prop aircraft. The lease of the facility by the United States was formally terminated on the 26th of May 1966, Guyana's Independence Day. 
Because the lease was terminated 74 years before its end date, a new agreement was reached giving certain specified rights to the United States in relation to the air base for the next 17 years. In 1965 and 1968 additions were made to the airport facilities. Also in 1968, British West Indian Airways BWIA was operating direct, no change of plane Boeing 727-100 jet service to New York City via JFK Airport via intermediate stops in Port of Spain and Barbados. On 1 May 1969 the Atkinson Aerodrome was renamed the Timery International Airport. Timery is a Carib word for rock motifs located deep in the Guyana hinterland that pre-date the arrival of Europeans in the New World. The airport featured murals employing Amerindian motifs by Guyanese painter Aubrey Williams. In 1971, BWIA was operating daily non-stop service to Port of Spain from the airport with Boeing 707 jetliners. By 1973, Om Antillian Airlines was operating Douglas DC-9 jet service on a routing of Paramaribo, Georgetown, Port of Spain, Curaçao, Kingston, Miami three times a week according to the official airline guide OAG. Pan American World Airways Pan Am was serving the airport in 1980 with daily one-stop Boeing 707 jet service to New York JFK Airport via an intermediate stop in Port of Spain. In 1981, Guy America Airways was operating non-stop Boeing 707 jet service between New York JFK Airport and Guyana three days a week. In 1983, according to the official airline guide OAG, four airlines were operating scheduled passenger air service at the airport, Om Antillian Airlines, Aero Air, British West Indies Airways BWIA, formerly British West Indian Airways, and Guyana Airways. At this time, AM was operating McDonnell Douglas MD-80 jet service non-stop to Port of Spain, Trinidad with one-stop direct MD-80 flights to Curaçao, Netherlands Antilles, U.S.-based Aero Air was flying non-stop Boeing 707 jet service to New York City via JFK Airport, BWIA was operating non-stop McDonnell Douglas DC-950 jet flights to Port of Spain and locally based Guyana Airways was flying Boeing 707 non-stop service to Barbados. Barbados, Miami, New York JFK Airport, Paramaribo, Suriname and Port of Spain. The OAG also lists local and regional flights operated by Guyana Airways with Hawker Siddeley 748 and de Havilland Canada DHC-6 Twin Otter turboprop aircraft at this time. Guyana Airways had earlier operated Boeing 737-200 jet service from the airport in 1981 with non-stop flights to Barbados, Miami, Paramaribo and Port of Spain. By 1989, two airlines were operating non-stop flights between the airport and New York JFK, Guyana Airways with three Boeing 707 flights a week and Tropical Airways flying stretched Super Douglas DC-8 jets twice a week. In March 1997, following the death of President Dr. Chetty Jagan, then-President Samuel Hines decided to rename the airport the Chetty Jagan International Airport. The proposition to rename the airport was proposed in the Parliament National Assembly by the Minister of Amerindian Affairs, Vibert de Souza, who noted that it would be a fitting tribute to a man who had spent his life committed to the betterment of Amerindian people and fighting for the freedom and unity of all Guyanese. A plaque bearing the new name was unveiled on 21 May 1997 by the Prime Minister, Janet Jagan. The Chetty Jagan International Airport is currently undergoing a $150 million modernization and expansion. One, the runway is going to be extended to about 10,500 feet and the expansion is going to provide a new terminal building with eight boarding bridges, elevators and CCTV. This should be completed in December 2018. However, the check-in facility could be opening very soon. Facilities The airport sits at an elevation of 95 feet 29 meters above mean sea level. It has two asphalt-paved runways, 06, 24 measuring 7,448 by 148 feet 2,270 meters times 45 meters and 11 29 measuring 5,002 by 148 feet 1,525 meters times 45 meters. The terminal has six ground-level gates and four boarding bridges. Airlines and destinations <laughs> 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 
Topic: Passenger. Topic: Cargo. Topic: Accidents and incidents. On 30 July 2011, Caribbean Airlines Flight 523 overran a runway in rainy weather while landing at Chetty Jagan International Airport and went through a chain-link perimeter fence. The aircraft, a Boeing 737-800, broke in two just behind the first-class cabin. There were no fatalities, although at least two passengers suffered broken legs and many others suffered lacerations and other injuries. Caribbean Airlines confirmed that 157 passengers and six crew members were on board the aircraft at the time. On 9 November 2018, Fly Jamaica Airways Flight 256, bound for Toronto, overshot the runway when making an emergency landing for technical issues in the Boeing 757's hydraulics. <laughs> 